Welcome back everybody. In this video, I'm going to be showing you GB Studio 3.1, uh, which is now available and you can download on itch.io. It seems like the biggest introduction is the support for sound effects files, including WAV files, and also has, I think, like hundreds of changes of adding things and updating things and fixing things. So it seems like there's a huge update. And if we look at the sound effects thing specifically, different sound effects files we can now add. Um, and I have noticed that as well, they've just completely overhauled the documents. I think that before this, it was um, kind of referencing GB Studio 2 a bit. I think before this update, they hadn't really changed the documents since GB Studio 2, I can't really remember. Um, but with this, they have added a lot of information about each thing, um, more specifically for GB Studio 3, like these See here these actor limits um, and how you can expect the um, engine to operate when you're actually in GP Studio. So if you do care about the sound effects, I definitely recommend looking at Tronimal's YouTube channel. There's two fantastic videos here about um, sound effects and web samples in GP Studio 3.1. But yeah, if you're interested in sound effects, definitely check out Tronimal. So looking around, it hasn't changed much at all since um, you know, the first release of GB Studio 3, it's just a lot of quality of life improvements. So for example, um, if we look at this weight, if we click on seconds here, it also has a dropdown for frames. So you can operate in frames instead, uh, which is fantastic. There's also, like I said, there's also just hundreds of other added things, improvements, changes, and fixes. And I'm just blown away by the amount of work these guys do. Uh, Look in here, we see uh, add for loop and while loop events. I saw a comment the other day about loops and um, problems that might occur. And it seems like with these while and for loops, that might be a good fix. So yeah, if you didn't already know, GB Studio 3.1 is now available. So I'll put my patrons up on screen right now. Thank you so much to you guys. If you didn't know GB Studio 3.1 was available, I definitely recommend downloading it on itch. I always download it without the need for an installer so I can have all of the previous versions there as well um, in case I need to go back for any any reason. If you're updating from a previous version of GB Studio 3, there shouldn't be a problem at all with um, opening your projects in it. So yeah, remember to like the video if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment on what you thought of this video and what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video.